Welcome back. It's me. I return uh, with about three times the production value this time. See, I don't really own a green screen, so I'm using one of those fake green screens that just kind of uh, tries to trace around your body, and I don't really have good, a good lighting setup, so I'm just kind of going to look uh, partially transient. A little ghastly, as it were. But it beats the garbage pile behind me. I've also switched out microphones, so hopefully you should have a much better listening experience too, and found out that the RetroArch emulator was not giving any audio output in the last episode, so everything should be fixed. With that, that means that we are now on game number two of this long, bizarre ride, and it's, it's baseball. It is called baseball. It is not RBI baseball, it's not bases loaded, it's not even Major League Baseball, it is just... Just baseball. Now, at least the thing that makes sense here is that, of course, baseball is a pretty major pastime in Japan as well as in the U.S. The Japanese love their baseball, so a completely Japanese internal team developing a baseball game actually makes quite a bit of sense when compared to American football. So what do we get here? You just start out, select your team. A, C, D, P, R, or Y. I can safely say I do not know <laughs> what any of these represent. So I guess we'll be Team A, you know. And then I assume the game just starts, right? Oh yeah, yeah, that's a that's a that's a strike. Shouldn't have swung at that. That was definitely not on the plate. Yeah, it it it, it really does just genuinely go straight into it. There we go. That's a ball. You got to keep that eye. I've been playing uh, MLB 14, the show lately, and ah, uh, rough. And uh, I'm a terrible batter, so I assume I'll be just as terrible in this game. But I did hit it! <laughs> a pathetic little infield grounder, and we're safe. So, look at me. I'm, I'm the greatest of all time. Just gotta keep your eye on where that ball's going. Oh, look at that. That was reasonable. Now, I have no idea what any fielding controls or anything like that are. I don't even know if this game has fielding controls. <laughs> I'm willing to bet that much like 10 yard fight, it's probably pretty simplistic in all of its glory. Okay, wow, it's just, they're smart enough to uh, try to catch your guys out. So that's something. Not that I'm making them try to go forward, that is. I don't know the terms for baseball. <laughs> All right, I get it. You're flexing your muscles. You're trying to look like the big shot here. Oh, no. Look at that. That was gross. That That is a good hit, though. You know, good solid line drive. Okay, so you can hit B to advance your runners. You know what? We're gonna we're gonna try to make it a triple. No, <laughs> we got greedy. We shouldn't have been so greedy. All right, we're pitching now. I I don't know what any of the controls are. Obviously, I'm just kind of uh going for it. Okay, I apparently threw to home. <laughs> I don't know how to pitch in this game, so that's gonna you know be a little bit of a problem. I, I can sure throw a ball. Okay, so B throws to a, uh... Excuse me? Okay, okay. <laughs> B throws to a base, and then it just passes out for a while. I can throw another ball. Come on. Okay, there we go. Oh, look at that. We got one out. So... <laughs> I wish I could tell you what's going on here, but I am sincerely just, uh... Oh no, what did you throw over there? <laughs> I'm just kind of pushing buttons and hoping that I figure it out. I mean, come on, it's NES baseball. It can't be that complicated at the end of the day, right? There we go, throw out at home. That did not count as throwing out. That's embarrassing. Now, 
I have played RBI Baseball. I have played Bases Loaded. And I can tell you they are uh, both definitely <laughs> of a higher caliber than this, but what could you really expect at this point? That's... that's a foul. Yeah. I was a little worried when it got to the end there. I was like, if that's a fair ball, then I'm gonna be mildly upset. Oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, we scared the guy on third. He's not going any further. It's uh, notably more difficult than old 10-yard fight. I'll put it that way. It's another foul, my dude. Like, I sincerely don't know if you have any control over the fielders or not. Okay. Oh, spending an hour with this one could be a little bit rough. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Infield fly. It was more of a foul, actually. A fly foul. I'm sure there are terms for this kind of thing, but I am not up on my baseball. Oh, my gosh. My baseball terminology. Okay, so you do at least have to manually throw it. Looks like, okay, you just point to each base with the D-pad, and then that's where you throw it. And I, <laughs> I was going to say, I can recall playing, I think, triple play baseball for the PlayStation. And if you just kept throwing the ball, you could throw it endlessly and the game would just not continue. It's looking like this is a very similar thing. Although I got to admit, the teleporting umpires are impressive. All right. All right. It's fine. It's fine. Not going to get him that time. I sincerely do not know how you're supposed to, like, pitch anything well. Because we're getting some real slow balls out there. Okay. <laughs> we're just never going to bat again because we're never going to get a third out. <laughs> I'm trying to, like... I'm trying to point the D-pad in to different directions and then throw a pitch to see if that does anything. And that was definitely a different pitch if you want a 47 mile an hour pitch. That's kind of spooky. I don't know, maybe balls were not thrown as fast as they are nowadays. Maybe like a 70 mile an hour ball is considered the cat's meow back in the day. Oh no, there we go. No, there's a there's a 91 mile per hour ball there. That's that's some strength to it. Okay. Okay, I know how to pitch a fastball. Oh, come on. <laughs> I could have prevented that. We're 0 and 7 in the first inning. I just want to make that clear. Let's pitch an exceptionally slow ball. He didn't fall for it. Not this time. Okay. If you keep mashing A, it does not progress the game further. It just uh, causes them to manically say that it's safe. Yeah, just stay there. Get him out. Why did that knock out us out? I was just standing on the base. This game does not care. <laughs> I thought, okay, I'm holding it. He can't come onto the base now because he'll be out because I'm standing on the base. No. I'm sure that there's, like, a mega genius somewhere who understands all of the intricacies of this game. But clearly, with our <laughs> 0 and 8, it's not me. Okay, well, that was right down the middle. That's a reasonable hit, you know? That's a... Probably good enough for a double, right? Nope. Okay, now he's gonna run. Well, geez, you know, he would have been safe if he would have ran when I first hit the button. I can't even be angry, you know? Like, very clear foul. Okay, you can't adjust where you're. 
where you're standing here. That was a pretty obvious do not swing situation that we found ourselves in. But who am I if I do not swing at every conceivable ball? Now we're fine. Now we're good. Now we just need to do that about a thousand more times. That's in play. That's in play. I'm not going to get too greedy this time, though. I don't, yeah. That would have ended in tragedy if I attempted to get a triple out of that. But, boy, that was about as close to the foul line as you can get. Come on, quit being cute. <laughs> no reason to swing at that. But I, I do not have an eye for batting. I never have. I... It's disgusting. <laughs> I know I said in the last episode I have uh, played actual baseball before in someone's backyard, and uh, I was not particularly gifted. I, I'm not, not going to pretend that I was going to be MVP at any point. I was just kind of there to fill a role, you know, get the occasional hit on first thanks to a wimpy little grounder. Oh, no, that is such a fly ball. You can drop it. Nope. <laughs> they didn't drop it. <laughs> Second inning, still no points. I mean, maybe if I'm really talented, I can make this one game last an entire hour. Are you kidding me? You trying to uh, tell me that that was... Uh... <laughs> that was acceptable. I like how the catcher doesn't even try to go for it, too. Okay, don't smash A, because it'll just keep saying safe. Remember that. Yeah, I just want you to throw the ball. Oh, no! I, I'm pretty sure I definitively held up there. I don't know. The game has uh, some very, we'll say, loose controls. Uh... They're not exactly refined, which, I mean, I'm trying to think of what other alternatives you would even have in this time, and it would probably be Atari baseball and real sports baseball also for the Atari. I can't imagine there were many other video baseball options. Oh, come on now. That's disgusting. So basically, if you wanted to play baseball at home with no friends, uh, this was this was the option at the time. Okay, <laughs> we got him out, but just barely. I'm not sure how. Excuse me. Excuse me. <laughs> I I. I, I almost feel like I am almost definitely doing something wrong with the controls because I don't see how it can be this, uh, just kind of blatantly flaccid, for lack of a better term. Okay, hey, can we get a strikeout for once in our miserable lives? We did, we actually got a strikeout. They're already averaging a uh, run per inning, and we're only at the, the top of the third. Come on now. Have a little self-respect, man. Let's just nudge into that plate there. You think I'm going to fall for a 43-mile-an-hour curveball outside of the strike zone? I don't think so. You must think I'm some kind of joker. Wow. Hey, it's not a bad hit if it works, right? Uh, okay, I was going to say, that, that's absolutely a ball, and if it's not, I'm going to uh, protest a little bit. That's a hit. Not a very good hit. Look at, oh, no, no, the double play! <laughs> We're never going to get a good hit in this game. Actually, that was a very good hit. Wasn't good enough to, you know... There. I swear, they never advance until I hit the B button, like, four times. Oh. 
I forgot what my previous thought before I said that was even gonna be. I was onto something, you know, probably not that horribly interesting to hear, but, uh... Good grief. Now, I have heard from some people that this game does enjoy the reputation of being incredibly one-sided in terms of uh, the AI's ability versus yours. It's uh, definitely not an easy game to do much of anything in. <laughs> okay, their batters are not biting. They, they don't want the balls. So we just throw a super fast ball down the middle and they hit it. And we have nothing to show for it here. Okay, it's a nice fly, but uh, we're not, we're not going to have anyone who's going to get there. We got the most lethargic catcher of all time. Someone get me his job. Like, pretty much nothing I guess required of him so far in this game. He's... I say that, but, you know, once a catcher doesn't actually catch... There we go. It's a double play. I, <laughs> I've done something with my life for once. With my... I've done something in my baseball life. Oh, no. We should have just thrown a first. That would have been more guaranteed. You know, it's those, it's those greedy plays. Can't get more foul than that. It's a fly, but it's very much fair, and it, they're very much going to get extra bases in, on that. No? Well, they didn't run it in. We'll put it that way. I guess I'm happy about that, but at this point, I sincerely don't think it matters. <laughs> We're clearly not going to win this game. I think it would be a miracle if I even um, got a run at this point. I can only complain about the game so much when I'm playing like that, you know? <laughs> like, that ain't the game's fault. That's just me. That's a, like an ultra mega fly ball. But... They didn't catch it because the, the fielders in this game are the slowest that you will ever witness in a baseball game. Okay. It's a nice grounder. <laughs> Not nice enough, though. Not so nice to where we're actually going to get something out of it. Okay, another massive fly. And this time they've got it. No, they don't! Look at that! Okay, we've made it to second yet again. <laughs> you could have sworn it feels like you're in middle school with how difficult it is just getting to second base right now. Why well, was that for a trashy joke? <sighs> the double plays keep coming. The years start coming and they don't stop coming. We, uh, we have the most useless fielders in the entire league. I sincerely think I'll get a full hour out of just one game. At least I pray to God that that's the case because this, this is a rough one. It's a rough game. I'm 10 yard fight is quirky and doesn't really have anything to do with football really. Um, but at least um, I was able to get a little bit of enjoyment out of that. This is just kind of a slaughter. Oh, come. Like. <laughs> I, I still don't know if you actually have any field or control or not. It's completely beyond me. I'm kind of figuring out how to throw different pitches, but they don't seem to matter. Okay, I did actually get them out that time. Turns out you have to actually move towards them for them to make any kind of effort. You can't just throw it and expect them to tag them out. No, 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 no. 
Oh yeah, that's barely a strike. I felt like that could have very well been a ball by this game standards. Oh, look at that fly. Barely foul. I would have been very upset if that wound up being fair. <laughs> Well, okay, okay, that is foul. <laughs> it took a little bit for that to trigger, and I thought, hey, if you think all that fair, I'm gonna complain on the internet. Yep, it's very much a ball. And you know what? I'm fine with that call. It... When it's a ball, it's a ball. Impressive moves, pitcher. We finally had an inning where we did not let a run in, or, you know, eight. See, that was that was a very reasonable hit. I'm I'm definitely not gonna try to squeeze a double out of it, but it was it was a good hit. Probably a little bit late. Probably could have gotten a little bit more off that. Corked it a little bit better, but uh... oh, now the pitcher's got to look like the big tough guy here. I don't even know if like adjusting yourself over the plate is gonna make any difference. I mean, that's just an abysmal, an abysmal fly out. See, if this were, like... <sighs> okay. And, okay! <laughs> Mercifully, it is a foul. <laughs> if this were, like, a modern The Show game, I wouldn't even be hitting these balls. They wouldn't even get the opportunity to be a fly out. I would just straight up miss them. Maybe foul them off to the side three feet. Oh, I'm not feeling good about this. Yeah. It wasn't quite a double play. Not quite. That's one you shouldn't swing for, no matter which way you slice it, but uh, it just so happened that it turned out in our favor that time. It was definitely a ball. Just a ball we happened to hit. Okay. Advance. You can do it. You can go. We gotta run. <laughs> <laughs> For the first time in this miserable game, we got a run. I knew we could do it. Okay, that was very much as a very much not of the same nature. You don't gotta be a hero, man. What do you think that uh, pitcher's name would be? Probably something like. Eugene Schmidt. Yeah, that doesn't really strike me as a baseball name. Whenever I think of baseball names, I always think of a fighting baseball for the uh, Famicom. Sleeve McDykel, Bobson Ducknut, Mike Truck. Some of the greatest baseball names of all time, by my estimate. Look at that play! Just, you know, just as, just as I uh, drew it up, just as it was scripted. No such luck that time. Um, our pitcher decided he just wasn't going to bother. <laughs> he probably could have just reached up and snatched it, but he... Uh, that's asking a little much. You just kind of got to go with the fastballs is what I'm figuring out. Or the ultra-mega slow balls and then curve them in. Yeah, look at that. Easy out. Could we possibly have two decently defended innings in a row? Is it possible? That one tricked him. I don't even know what I threw. I just held something d different on the D-pad and it, uh, it apparently worked. But no, it's all about the fastballs. Yeah, make him foul that off. Thank you for calling the foul. Sorry, I hear noises and I am suspecting a cat getting behind the desk and a strikeout not a bad deal boy it's gonna be really interesting to uh play some of the later baseball games for the nes to really see how this stacks up because obviously it's the first attempt you know it's there is literally nothing else to compare it to because it is the first of its kind. 
Okay, no, he just got that right past me. That's probably for the best, you know. If I hit it, it'll probably just be a ground out. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty obvious ball. I totally didn't just not swing and hope for the best. That one I actually did uh, make a conscious effort to not swing on. Just gave me bad vibes. Okay, that's the strike, I guess. It's hard to determine the strike zone in this game. Hard to determine what's going to be a ball. Well, that's not very difficult. That's pretty obvious. Look at this. This is the most uh, competitive at-bat I've had so far. Oh! Oh! And it gets hit for a beautiful single. I don't know if we could have squeezed a double out of it, but at this point, why would I even tempt fate? <laughs> it just sounds like a very easy way to uh, lose a gifted ball. There, uh, there's some heft to that one. That uh, That's worth progressing on. At least get that second baseman over to third. I think I know how to control the runners now. Oh, uh, no, that's a fly. Oh, it's a good fly, though. We got another run in. Good news, it's 10 to 2. <laughs> okay. Like, I think I know how to even try to steal a base. Yep, I do know how to try. It doesn't, that doesn't mean I did it right, but... Okay, I'm slowly figuring out the quirks of the system here. Not enough to get anything, you know, productive done, but oh, what is that? It doesn't help that all the outfielders have the worst butterfingers on the planet. There's not a lot you, the player, can do about that, besides just to throw better balls, I guess. <laughs> Make sure they don't get hit in the first place. Oh, or force them to hit those pop-out flies. I think I'm on the verge of mixing my wrestling terms with my baseball terms now. I was very ready to say uh, pop-up fly, like a pop-up power bomb or something like that. Yeah, there you go. Let's remake fighting baseball, but uh, include actual fighting in it. Be a Blades of Steel type deal. Because, you know, baseball is so known to be such a violent sport. That's bad. Oh! No! Why would you throw there? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I'm i fairly confident that I had accidentally nudged the D-pad more in that direction than I did in the up direction, but what can you do? Are you seeing what I'm seeing right now? Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Not going to get any cheeky easy outs that way. Bases are loaded. Still has not been a homer in this game. God willing, there won't be any. <laughs> but I know better than that. Something terrible is going to happen, and they're just going to get that grand slam right... <laughs> Yo! Um... Catcher! Oh, thank God that counted as an out. <laughs> Again, at this point, I don't even think it necessarily matters. We're not going to make it back. We just have a few precious innings left, and we're not going to draw it out to a, uh, to a win somehow. It would be the game of the century if that did happen, but... What is right on the D-pad pitch? A ball. It's probably because I curved it midair a little too much, but hey, no, you know what? The only thing working for me is those fastballs. I throw anything else, they just do whatever they want with it. Oh, no! Alright, well, it's 11 to 2 now, clearly. <laughs> Got it right in the middle of that gap, because the feelers... The feelers. The feelers move at... Oh, no! <laughs> oh, that's what I was hoping to avoid. 
And yet I called it too perfectly, too. I, I thought bases are loaded. They're going to Grand Slam it. And boy, did they ever Grand Slam it. If this were Super Mega Baseball, we'd be rattled right now. But ha, <laughs> we don't even have a roster. We just have a bunch of unnamed Nintendo men. There's only so much you can do. I mean, your fielders, they're just going to be where they are when that ball goes off. If they're in a place to catch it, then I, as far as I'm concerned, that is entirely luck. Also, sorry, you got the, uh, <laughs> the microphone stand kind of popping in there on the, uh, on the scuffed chroma key. Because it isn't a chroma key at all. Oh, I should have just thrown it first. Why would you throw it a third? Oh, oh, oh! No! <laughs> I thought I could... <laughs> I thought I could coax him. We don't have the power. Well, if nothing else, um, this should be an incredibly instructional video on how not to play NES baseball. That's the first time a 50 mile an hour ball has not been just uh, conked. Come on. No, you kind of got to wait for your pitcher to get ready to throw too. You can't force him. He'll, he'll do it when he's good and ready. I mean, what can I say? He's the greatest pitcher of all time. Never mind the uh, era of 16. <laughs> Never mind that he has allowed 16 runs in on just one game so far. <laughs> Get the relief pitchers. Come on, that totally hit me. That's a walk. Shouldn't have swung. Just gonna be honest with myself, that was... The game doesn't help you much, but uh, you gotta help yourself a little bit. If both... Oh, look at that! You can kinda go up on the plate, too. Look at that. We're just gonna nudge ourselves way up here. <laughs> Did not pay off. <laughs> I honestly don't know in what world the uh, positioning would make any kind of difference. You know, I guess that gave us uh, mo marginally more time to react. We at least got a hit. We're we're not playing a no-hitter against them, so if that's any kind of consolation. It's a fair ball. It's a fair ball. Okay. I, I was stunned to see that it was in play. As you may well imagine. Oh, look at that! It's a conquer! It's a home! It's a homer! We did it! <laughs> We've done something worth mention. <laughs> it's not gonna close any gaps, so to say. I mean, uh, by definition, it is closing the gap, but it's not going to do it in any meaningful way here. We're still over 10 points behind. And yes, I do now know how to, uh, send the base runners. It's actually the same way that you would do it to this day in baseball games. Point at them, hit the button. That's, uh, that's less of a homer, I would say. It's a little bit more of a... Oh! He got there. Not even a problem. I thought it was going to be a fly out, but no, we, uh... We were instead legendary. Oh... <laughs> Uh, by far, you know, the most effective inning that we've had. Three runs? I'll take that all day. Oh yeah, I'm pitching. I was like, you gonna pitch to me? No, why would they pitch to me right when I just got done pitching to them? You know, there's not a lot to say about it. There's even less to say about this than there was to say about 10-yard fight, honestly. <laughs> At least 10-yard fight, I um, I figured out the controls. They made a little bit more sense. This, I guess I can't knock the controls too much for not making sense because, again, you, you, you have a D-pad and two face buttons. There is not a lot that you can do. 
Oh, could have been a double play if I was actually looking at what was happening. But yeah, in a world where you want to, like, give players any kind of fielding control, what I mean, any kind of base running control whatsoever, you got to get creative with your control scheme. Well, on up to that, that was definitely a ball. You read my mind. Started moving before I even wound up. He wasn't gonna swing for it. I shouldn't have. Uh, I shouldn't have curved it at the end there. It's all right. This guy is a uh, clear MVP candidate. Look at this. This is when we strike him out. We can afford to throw another ball. No, it's a foul. Well, a foul won't get the strikeout, but it uh, certainly won't get you a walk either. I threw that as a ball, and he still just, like, destroyed it. 17 to 5! I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm glad that I do at least have five runs, because I was expecting this was going to be the kind of dumpster fire where it was, like, 27 to nothing by the end. So, uh, especially getting that homer, you know, that's a... I don't know if I necessarily want to say confidence booster because there's nothing to be done about this game at this point, but it's better than getting completely skunked. I think that's kind of a self-explanatory situation. Go ahead, throw your super slow ball. Oh, well, look at that. He just, he just shredded it. <laughs> Who would have thought? <laughs> Now is the point where the seventh inning just goes on forever and it never ends and we get absolutely decimated. <laughs> oh, look at that fair ball. No, 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 no. And again, all, all you can really do is just sit and watch as your fielders move like a pixel at a time towards the ball. But, you know, when you got scaling issues like the NES has... You can't make them too fast, or else they'd just be overpowered. I don't have the answer on how you would fix that, but it, it, it definitely feels a little bit, uh... <laughs> a little bit out of proportion. The seventh inning did end eventually. Yeah! <laughs> Look at that! <laughs> no! Why are they so much faster than me? <laughs> oh, man, if they hit that, that would have been like a triple. I know I'm sitting here complaining about video games. Well, at least, you know, a good portion of them are just <laughs> staring at the ball. <laughs> it was a triple. So count our blessings there. We can occasionally make something happen. We just absolutely crumble. You really think I'm going to try to steal home? We just absolutely crumble when we're on the pitching side because I have no idea how you're supposed to pitch correctly, for lack of a better term, in this game. You caught that? <laughs> you want to run that by me again? That was obviously just kind of sickeningly early. Shouldn't have swung at all there. Not like running up the pitch count matters at all in this game. I uh, can say with confidence that there's no uh, kind of stamina system in this. Obviously, there's not even bullpen management or anything like that. And that's probably for the best. You don't want to get too ambitious with your first outing in a sport. But man, it's brutal. <laughs> okay. Good ground out. Good ground out. The scoreboard is the most pathetic in baseball history, I think. That that eight-point inning is easily the most hilarious part about this entire thing. It's okay. I'm in the zone now. Just pitch the fastest fastball of your life right down the middle. <laughs> he did it! Our catcher did something! <laughs> 
<laughs> the first time in his life. Hey, that's the most effective inning on the mound I've ever had. Yeah, we've had other zero run innings, but that was, uh, that was just plain beautiful. Come on, man, my confidence is up. You really think I'm going to swing at that? There are wizards out there who I'm sure can just destroy this game every time. But, you know, there are very few sports games that I'm any, uh, good at. <laughs> no! <laughs> Did you see how fast he was? The dude was the Flash! <laughs> he just... <laughs> he absolutely zoomed him. Yeah. What are you gonna do about it? I fouled it. <laughs> I I thought I saw that roll back over the line. In standard regulation, that would, uh, that would be a fair ball. Hey, how fortunate <laughs> they missed it. It actually got through the gap. <laughs> that shortstop there, or is, or is it the second baseman? I don't know. Oh, look at that. Am I mid-swing animation right now? I think, I think I'm mid-swing animation. Like, I pressed A and then it, uh... <laughs> It did something. Boy, I am not sure how you're supposed to hit these. I I corked one homer, so got that going for me. Uh, game set, yeah. It sure is. <laughs> okay, well, that's baseball. Technically, I still got 20 more minutes with this game, so you know, I'm just going to, uh, you know. Try out a different team, see if it makes any kind of difference. We'll play as the Yellows. Yellows? I don't know. Are we literally just a yellow team? No. Okay, we do start on... We do start batting again. And obviously I'm not going to play this game fully out here. I'm, I'm, I'm going to spend the hour that I said I'd spend and then I'm out of here. Spoiler alert, this hour has not made me want to play this game. <laughs> I mean, at some point, I probably would not mind, like, having a copy of it on my shelf just because it is one of the original Black Box games. But as we're going to find out, the original Black Box games, turns out, are uh, kind of bad. <laughs> a lot of them are. And a lot of them are absolutely fine, too, of course. Like, we got golf coming up, I can see. Not next episode, but eventually. That's golf's some decent fun. Although it <laughs> has certainly aged in a number of ways and was made completely irrelevant by the time NES Open Tournament golf rolled around. Okay, this this guy likes to throw balls, clearly. That's right down the middle. And yet that was still apparently a really bad swing. I don't know. Do you see how fast they get when they have the ball in their hand? <laughs> They'll start inching like a pixel at a time in like any direction, but then when they've got that ball, then they realize it's time to go for it. Third baseman falling asleep over there. Let's see if we can uh, get eight points in the first inning again. Well, that's a fair ball, unfortunately. <laughs> what can we do about it? We can sit here and watch. Should have just thrown a third. There's no way that was going to home. See, now that is an example of a player decision that is botched. That, that, that was not the fault of the game. That was absolutely on me. But, you know, I said it in the first episode. If you're looking for the most top-notch NES gameplay in the books, I feel bad for you, son. That was still a hit. Should have thrown it first. No, no, no. You'll start seeing the really good gameplay when we get, uh... <laughs> Contra Force. <laughs> I haven't played Contra Force in years and years and years. I have no idea how that's gonna go. That game is, uh... It's an interesting one. 
I don't even know why I'm talking about it. It's going to be a long, long, long time before... Oh, look, we can run fast, too! Oh, no. This is the run. It's going to be a long time before we touch any kind of Contra game. There are going to be a lot of episodes that are, um, I'm thinking are probably just going to kind of... Uh, they're going to flop a little bit, you know? There's some games that are just a little... Imperfect for this kind of format. Ah, uh, that's out of that's out of the park. But you know, that's also kind of part of why I did this. I I thought I could just as easily cherry pick some games and try them out. But at the end of the day, I do believe that it would be considerably more interesting to try everything, even if it's something that does not look immediately appealing. I've discovered a lot of uh, crazy good music that way. Stuff that might be uh, a little bit off the wall, might be a little bit uh, divisive, and then you listen to it and you're like, well, this is the best thing ever. What was I worried about? Look at <laughs> the complete lack of effort from the infielders on that one. <laughs> it, it went like slightly past them and they thought, ah, I don't get paid enough to catch that one. Jeez. Okay. <laughs> I just... You know... I, I watch a few YouTubers um, who enjoy playing baseball video games every now and then, and they always throw to first, and I'm beginning to realize why that is. <laughs> Notice I say I watch YouTubers who play baseball games. I don't necessarily watch real baseball. Like, I have I have no team in baseball. There's no one I really cheer for because I have no idea. I guess, you know, I could just by default vote, um, vote. <laughs> cheer for the Twins beca because I'm from Minnesota. But uh, I don't cheer for the Vikings, so clearly that doesn't mean anything. Although I, I did hear last season was the first time in a long, long time that the Twins have actually uh, shown themselves to be competitive. Oh, it's such a fly. See, their infielders go for it. They don't just give up. <laughs> my, my infielders just say, I'm I'm not having anything to do with that. All right, let's see if they'll walk me. No. Oh, when you get when you get something like that down the middle, you got to go for it. You got to count your blessings. Yeah. That's a good ball to swing at, for sure. A very reasonable single. I'm saying this is from like, mm, yes, indeed, just as I had planned. Just as anybody would have assumed, it's a uh, high quality single. This ain't exactly high tier baseball commentary that you're getting. I mean, I understand the rules at the most rudimentary level. Uh, you sure about that? That was, uh, that was a little, uh, little on the outside, but if you say so. That would have been the worst thing ever if he actually threw me out there. But you'd have to laugh, too. Like, <laughs> regardless of how much I'm getting creamed, I can't get upset by anything happening in this game. Well, I mean, obviously, go for home. Probably could have gotten someone on third, too. But, uh, hey, four to one in the second. This is a much closer game than the last one. Shame it's not going to draw a conclusion. Because I definitely don't want to play this game for any more than uh, about uh, ten more minutes. That's going to be my limit. All right, we're pitching. <laughs> we're pitching, and so the miserable tale of fielding in NES baseball continues. You gonna catch that? You gonna actually catch that infielders? Hey, they did it. They didn't give up. Not this time they didn't. Right down the middle. Thank you, catcher. 
it may have been able to be a double play if I would have thrown to second and then first, but I got so in my own head about throwing to first. It's, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. We still got him out. Well, we're doing at least twice as well as we did in the first game. That's... That's disgusting. I don't know how to hit it. <laughs> I mean, I know I did hit it. I got a base run. Well, not a, not a run. I got a base hit. But it's like every time I do hit it, it's just kind of it's just kind of this limp little. Eh. Come on. That was fast. <laughs> uh, it was just incredibly fast. There's there's nothing else that I can say about that. This guy's about his fastballs. That's that's what he likes to do. Oh, look at that. Yo. Why didn't my first baseman start running? <laughs> like he waited until the batter was already on the base. You know, that's old video games for you. Go for it. Look at that hit. It's no home run, but, uh... It's a respectable hit. A, a respectable double. I, granted, I had to pretty much, like... Scream at my, uh... Actual runners to do it. <laughs> I had to manually send them both. <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't know. Let's see how many more innings we can squeeze out of this. Okay. M making him hit a fly is good. Our outfielder even did his job, so as far as I'm concerned, it's it's Christmas Day. Oh, come on now. Yeah, we tagged him out. We didn't, we didn't even have to throw it. We just straight up ran into him. Two outs already on two pitches. Could this be a three-pitch inning? Of course not! Ah. I was so convinced that was a fly. I mean, a single homer. It's not the worst thing, I guess. <laughs> That's foul. Thank you. <laughs> so don't you dare call that fair. And a good strikeout. Nothing gets that pitching confidence up like a good old-fashioned strikeout. Didn't want it. I don't care if it was straight down the middle. Yeah, yeah there was a little curve to it. But the one that's off the plate, that's the one I want. Give me some of that. <laughs> you know, like, I feel like I should have, like, nailed that, but it was just a whole lot of nothing. Again, that's clearly a walk. That, uh, that'll bruise your hip real good if that actually had any semblance of, uh, collision. Unreal. Is it unreal though? Is it at this point? Like I should, I should be expecting this now. This is, this should be the norm. Turns out those 53 mile an hour balls don't get hit particularly hard. Look at him chase that down. I don't know if I would have been safe going for second, but uh, you ready to steal? No! <laughs> if it were not a fast ball, he probably would have made it. Again, it's the kind of thing, you know, I'm not planning on, on finishing the game. I'm definitely not planning on winning the game. May as well have some fun with it and see if you can get a steal in. At least the game has stealing mechanics. 
it would have been just as easy for them to completely ignore that aspect of the game. Okay, you know, another predictably quick inning. By the way, don't ask me about the uh, graphic below me. I just needed some uh, screen filler, and uh, the good old fresh meme boy was the best thing I could find that uh, kind of fit the dimensions. <laughs> maybe someday I'll put actual content in that space, but uh, maybe I won't. Maybe I'll just keep it there so it stares at you ominously in its strange 3D CG fashion. I don't even know if it has a name. Like, there's got to be a name for it specifically. I mean, I've always kind of known it as a special meme fresh, thanks to an older Facebook page that used to exist. I don't know if that page is still around or not. I know those meme pages come and go, get bought out by the highest seller for ad revenue. Ugh, it's disgusting. Excuse me, pitcher? <laughs> you wanna <laughs> you wanna try catching that? It looked like that was uh, yours for the taking. All right, we're th we're throwing the slow balls now. You never see the slow ball coming. What happens if I like hold the pitch button down while I'm throwing it? Does it go even slower? Oh, it does go even slower. A 47 mile per hour ball. No one's ever gonna suspect it. But this is where. He you psych him out with the fastball, and he hits it. I assumed that somebody would have caught that at some point, scooped it up, you know, but... But no. No. Not in this game. Who needs MLB The Show? You know, this is this is top shelf baseball action right here. Now, I do actually own the Game Boy version of this. I do own baseball for the Game Boy. I don't think I've actually given it a shot yet. Just because I'm predicting that it's going to be eerily similar to this. <laughs> I don't know how it could be much different. Oh, hey. That's a strike out there, though. Can probably, uh, you know, deal out our top of this inning, and that'll probably call it. Don't make me laugh. A me from 15 minutes ago may have swung at that. A me now? Would probably still swing at that, honestly. Eh, yeah, I'm not gonna get too greedy with that. Oh, I should have gotten greedy. I thought the dude on the right was going to go for it, but no, I, I forgot the AI on this game just kind of does literally whatever they want. Go! You fool! <laughs> Why don't they run? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're, you're very cool. You're a very slick person. Oh, yes. A run. Not a run. <laughs> Don't get too excited now. <laughs> you think you can just start <laughs> making runs happen? No, the only thing I can make happen is double plays. We did not get double played, though. I thought that was going to be a guaranteed double play. <laughs> Again, I feel like there's something that I'm just straight up missing about hitting in this game we got another run though so hey seven to two that's a closer game than the last game was <laughs> not like please not like it could have gotten much worse than last game but wow you know what that's about the most that i can tolerate of this it has been uh close enough to an hour for me to not throw a cow over it um so NES Baseball. Did this hour make me want to play more of it? No. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, this is definitely not the most fun I've ever had playing a baseball game. That would go to 
Super Mario Sluggers, I believe it was. Was that the one for the Wii? I don't know. Uh, yeah, if I had this game back in the day, um, I probably would have traded it in for 10-yard fight, as odd as that sounds. I know I threw a lot of shade at 10-yard fight for being an oddity, but uh, if we compared it strictly to NES Baseball, I'd have to say 10-yard fight is the more fun game. Baseball is probably the better adaptation of its actual root sport, but it's not as fun of a game. It You kind of just feel slightly out of control the whole time. Fielding is an absolute mess. Uh, a lot of it is just kind of out of your hands. It's a weird one. But that is baseball. Tomorrow, we're going to play an hour of Clue Clue Land. Our first non-sports title in the lineup. And uh, actually a reasonable little game. If you're not familiar with it, well... You will be shortly. Until then, thank you for watching. Tell your friends, or don't, and we'll catch you next time.